the spiritual discipline of confession. It's not something we like to talk about. It's not especially something we want to practice, but this is where we begin in reconnecting with God. Is there some unconfessed sin that has been separating you from him? Repentance and confession, I get it, are often things that we identify as being very personal, kind of this individual practice. But throughout the Old Testament, we see God's blessing is connected to a community that practices confession and repentance together. And so we want to do it as a church family. In Psalm 32, verses 1 and 2, David talks about how forgiveness and freedom followed confession. He writes these words, When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night, David writes, your hand, God, was heavy on me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Verse 5, he says, but then I acknowledge my sin to you, and I didn't cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. 